again uh, back to give everybody a little bit of an update what I've been up to um, I am down to five days so I'll be getting my surgery very very soon and it's a very surreal feeling but I'm really excited so um, I don't know it's gonna be kind of a crazy five days I think but it's gonna be even crazier after the 13th after Monday <laughs> so sure this is nothing Everybody. Thanks for coming back to see me. It's Marissa. Uh, yeah, here we go with another update. This is week 13. Uh, I want to start off by saying uh, thanks to everybody who left uh, comments and sent me messages in regards to my last video. Um, I really appreciate it. I definitely tend to keep things on a real positive high note when I do videos, but I was having a low moment. I am only human, and I really appreciate everybody's kind words. Uh, it meant a lot, and it definitely helped lift my spirits, and I'm happy to say that I have definitely moved on since then, and I'm feeling much better, so thank you. Um, let's just go ahead and move on to the scale this week. Um, I weighed in today, and I lost four pounds, uh, which brings me to my total well. Let me recap, of course. I had my gastric bypass uh, surgery on September 13th, 2010, and as of today, December 13th, 2010, I am down 68 pounds. Unreal. Um, to even wrap my head around the fact that I'm super close to 70 pounds, it's just it boggles my mind because I never ever ever thought I would get to this point in my life ever again. I pretty much thought when I was at my highest weight I was there to stay and it was never ever going to change but my how things can change in 13 weeks so I'm really excited about that. Um, when I was feeling kind of low I did do a little bit of reevaluating and thinking about what I could do to kind of help myself along to kind of break out of like with that little dark cloud that was over my head and I decided to put a lot more effort into going to the gym which is exactly what I did and I really hit it hard with those workouts last week um, I was in there three days and then I did a home workout I do a uh, turbo jam like a kickboxing <laughs> cardio uh, DVD here uh, when I went to the gym I do the elliptical and the treadmill for a total of about 45 minutes it's enough to really get my heart rate going and I mean I am like whoo -hoo. I mean it's 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 tough for me but I'm really starting to feel like I enjoy the working out which is another thing that's never been uh, the case for me because for me working out was always so daunting and just so unpleasant and just horrible and now I'm actually kind of looking forward to it so I went shopping for clothes this last weekend uh, over the weekend on Saturday I started going through my closet to see, you know, what fits, what doesn't fit, what I'm going to be working myself into eventually, and I had a couple pair of work pants in mind that I was going to wear because the ones I'm wearing now are getting too big. The ones that I had waiting are too big already, so the next size down that I have in my closet, I have like a million zillion sizes, um, not a million zillion, I mean just, sorry, I heard something over there, um, a couple different sizes, but those are too small. So eventually I'll fit into those, but anyway, I was left with no work pants is what I'm trying to say, so I had to go shopping, and um, I hadn't gone really shopping at all for like something substantial like a pair of pants, you know, I've done like shirts and tops and that, um, but for pants it's always been kind of like a, you know, a little bit of a struggle for me, regardless of, you know, being at my heaviest weight or you know, being at my lowest weight. Um, anyway, so I went shopping, and my brain, I think, sometimes has a hard time computing, you know, where I'm at in this journey, because I have lost weight, but in my head, I'm still looking for that biggest size. I go to the store, and I'm like, just right away, I'm thinking, okay, they have to have the size, and I have to go to the biggest one, it's the only thing I can wear, because that's the way it was for so long for me. 
So when I went shopping this past weekend, I was looking and looking and looking and I'm thinking, why am I looking for the biggest size? I actually had to stop myself and think, oh my gosh, you don't wear that size anymore. So then I started looking for different ones and, you know, I had dropped a few sizes and that was really gratifying. Um, and I, I don't know, it was, it was an awesome feeling. But it's also a little, like, perplexing sometimes because you do have to, I don't know if everybody else, but for me, I do find myself stopping and saying, oh my gosh, you know, wow, okay, this is where I'm at now. Because things are starting to fit really big and baggy, like, even my winter coats, I mean, just like jeans that I could, haven't worn in years, you know, just that I'm getting into them, it's, it's blowing my mind pretty much what's going on I'm just like I'm freaking out but it's a good freak out I mean I'm enjoying shopping I went um, out with my best friend and her baby and we had a blast and those kind of things I just don't think I'd be really game for like a year like last year there's no way I mean I was constantly tired I just couldn't do much of anything I didn't have energy or enthusiasm for so many things that I had lost and now I feel like I've regained it and I'm excited about everything now <laughs> so you know I think it's a good thing um, but uh, shifting gears a little bit uh, tomorrow I have an office party or Christmas party I'm not too worried because I know the restaurant we're going to I checked out their menu online so I know what I'm ordering I have a game plan so I'm not gonna sit there and just like stare at the menu like I don't know what to get so I know what I'm gonna do um, so I, I'm just looking to have a really great time and uh, I see my dietitian next week for a little pre-holiday pep talk. I'm not too worried because I did survive Thanksgiving and like I've mentioned in other videos I don't have a sweet tooth so I'm not worried about the cookies and the pie and the cake and all that. Um, carbs were always my poison so I mean I, I, I lived you know I just have to portion out my food. I'm just going to compare it to the last holiday. Um, so I'm just looking to spend time with my family and my friends and have a good time and that's really the focus for me. Food is not, it's not about like how much I'm going to stuff in my face. It's about, you know, just eating to be, you know, content and just, you know, eating healthy and spending time with the people I love. So, it sounds like a win-win situation to me. Um, that's pretty much it everyone. Everything's going well. Um, no major issues this week, <laughs> so I'm glad about that. I uh, hope everybody's doing great, and that's it. I am about to go do cardio workout. I'm going to go change, and while this video is processing, I'm going to be working out. So everybody have a good uh, week, and I will check in next week. And thank, thank you for uh, watching and supporting me on my journey. And, uh, of course, the best of luck to everybody out there. So thanks for watching, and take care. Bye.